Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 3 in JCS 1431E. We'll be presenting our group project under course MNT123 Foundation of Geometry, which is Application of Geometry. Let me introduce you all my group members. First, me as leader, Roshahira Irina binti Shamsuddin. The second member is Hakim Ama bin Muhammad Hisham. And lastly, Shaza Kalila binti Ahmad Zairi. So, as you guys can see in this slide, we have two cases. First, we have oyster peel. And second, we have milk box. We will start with oyster peel first. The history of oyster pear is early patents that to 1890, 1894 and 1908. The paper board was invented at a time when fresh oysters were more popular, more plentiful and less expensive than they are at present. Since shucking oysters, which is removing the raw meat from shell, takes some amount of skill and can be difficult and dangerous. It was common have the oyster seller open the oyster so they could be taken home for use in cook dishes. The oyster pail provided an inexpensive and sanitary way to accomplish this. In the early 20th century, oyster pail were also used to hold honey. In the mid 20th century, overfishing and the subsequent rise in price of oysters left manufacturers with a significant number of unsold oyster pails. Why do we choose oyster pill? First, it has unique shape that can be linked with geometry. Second reason, it is a eco-friendly material so we can recycle it. Third, it is easily shaped. Fourth, it is easy to eat since it is heat proof. Okay, so, so you guys already know our project is, first of our project is oyster pill. So we need to know how to look into the oyster pail with geometry perspective. Then we got an idea to relate this oyster pail with trapezoidal trapezium shape. So by according to the 3D shape, it makes the discussion and calculation become much easier. Firstly, we can calculate the volume of oyster pail by using the formula which is 1 over 2 uh, times sum of two parallel sides times the height and the length of length or the thickness so the sum of two parallel sides is 11.5 plus 8 the height is 9 and the length of oyster pail is 6.5 then we got the volume of oyster pail 570.375 cm cube other than that we also can relate the oyster pill and we can see combination of two different shapes which is trapezium and rectangle. The oyster pill have one base and four lateral face. Shape of oyster pill lateral face is two same rectangle and two same trapezium. So we can calculate the surface area by totaling all of five to the shape of oyster pill, the area of base is 8 times by 6.5. The area of two shape rectangle lateral face are 6.5 times 9.1686. Then we times two because it have two same shape. We calculate this using a formula: um, base times the height. And then the area of two same trapezium lateral face are 1 over 2 times times sum of 11.5 plus 8 times 9 and then we times 2 because it have two same shape. Then we got the total surface area of oyster pail 346.6918. The second case of, of our assessment is we choose milk box. So the history of milk box is a large metal milk container was developed in Europe between 1816 and 1817 called a chain. The leaded metal container could hold about 21.12 gall of milk. The gas milk bottle was invented in 1884. This offered 
convenience to milk consumers since the sterilized bottles could be kept sealed until needed. Milk that was pasteurized quickly heated to above boiling, then cooled, was resistant to bacterial contamination and spoilage for several days. Bottled meat became prevalent across the United States and Europe through a World War II, World War II though glass containers are rarely seen now. The first paper meat uh, cutter was introduced in 1933. Wax was applied to the paper to make it waterproof. In 1914, polyethylene was introduced as the waterproofing material. Refillable glass in watery rain for a long, a long time after meat cutter was in, were introduced. But by but by 1968, over 17 percent of milk package in the United States went into paper cartons. The manufacture of milk cartons is actually a two-step process at a two different location. The carton manufacturer cuts and prints the carton which is shipped in a knockdown of flattened form to the meat packager. The packager completes the process by forming, filling and sealing the carton. Okay, so the reason why we choose meat box is it is relatable with geometry shape. This application of geometry help we to get more benefits from it. Firstly, it's easy to pour since the cap of the milk box is cylinder. Since it is cylinder, change the make to spill is low. Just imagine if the cap is rectangle or a triangle, the make will spill and it will cause a messy place and wasting. Other than that, the shape of milk box which is prisma may be easy to hold. So, the change to regardless of the grip is low. And the flat base of milk box may be easy to keep it stay in one place such as fridge without it falling on its own. Therefore, the milk box will keep safely. Lastly, it is also easy to recycle since the material of milk box is paper. Thank you. As you guys can see, we have two applications that involve in this case. The first one is cylinder for the bottle cap and the second one is trapezium prism for the body. So next, we have the calculation for the milk box. We have four different shapes which is rectangle, trapezium, square and cylinder. First, we are going to calculate the volume of the bottle cap. The shapes of the bottle cap is cylinder. We are going to use the formula which is pi r square h equals to 3.1416 multiply with 1.3 square multiply with 1.2 equals to 6.3711 cm3. Next, we are going to calculate the area base of trapezium. The formula is 1 over 2 times a plus b times h equals to 1 over 2 times 12 plus 10 times 5 equals to 55 centimeter square next is volume of prism which is area base times height equals to 55 times 5 equals to 275 centimeter square so for the total volume we're going to add both of the answer that we get before this which is 275 plus with 6.3711 the final answer should be 281.3711 cm3. So now, we're going to calculate the surface area for the milk box. So first, we're going to calculate the surface area for the cap, which is cylinder with one base. The formula for the cylinder with one base is 2 pi r h plus pi r square. So it is equal to 2 times 3.1416 times with 1.3 times with 1.2 plus 3.1416 times with 1.3 square. The final answer should be 15.1111 cm square. So next, I will calculate the parameter base which is 12 plus 10 plus 5 plus 57454 equals to 32.7454 cm. Next, we are moving on to the surface area for the prism. Moving on to the next step which is surface area of the prism. 
the formula is 2B plus pH equals to 2 times 55 plus 32.7454 times 5 equals to 273.727 cm square. So the total of surface area is 273.727 plus with 15.1111 and the final answer should be 288.8381 cm square. We have reached the end of this project. So the conclusion that we can make is the first one, application of geometry makes our life easier. The second one is geometry is all around us. Then the last one is geometry is important because it helps us to create something useful. So here is the list of reference that we use to make this project more easier. You guys can check it out too if you guys want to know more about these two cases. Thank you for watching till the end. Hope this video will give you guys more information about geometry in our life. Thank you.